Greetings, my beautiful Moon Tribe. It is your favorite La Madame Serena, the CEO and founder of the Jambalaya Moon Sanctuary. Today is a beautiful, beautiful Thursday, and I wish you a happy Thursday or whatever day you are watching this. I wish you that day. I wish you this day to be happy, fulfilled, luxurious, and beautiful. I am still feeling the energy of that full moon in Leo. Very, 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 very heavy. I am a Leo moon, so of course it affected me in a certain way. But today what I want to talk about is some goddess affirmations. Um, these are some affirmations that I say to myself and affirmations that I've put together to share with my Moon Tribe community. Um, I want you to join the mailing list if you have not joined it. Um, the link is going to be in the description and make sure you stay tuned throughout the video because I will be giving you a code to use to save 25% off on all Jambalaya Moon orders, okay? So make sure you stay tuned. Let's get into the power of word, goddess affirmations. I have them written down here right from my notebook. Um, the first one is, I honor myself by putting my needs and desires first. Mm, it feels so good to say that because we should know that putting our needs and desires first are, is honoring ourselves. A lot of times, and I will always say, that society teaches women especially that you are supposed to put your children first, your partner first, your family first, okay? But we need to put ourselves first. As goddesses, we need to put ourselves first. This is how you honor yourself. This is how you show and create a standard for the way that other people treat you in your life. If you treat yourself poorly and you're giving all your energy out to others, it does not reflect, it doesn't make you look good. All it does is tell, pe tell people that they can take advantage of you. So put yourself first. Put your needs, your desires, your wants first. If you want something, if you need it, if you desire it, you deserve it. Okay? Second affirmation. I am a valuable asset to myself, my family, and my community. Now, as we talk about nurturing self naturally as goddesses we are nurturers so first we nurture self we nurture those around us family extended family and that in turn makes us a valuable asset to our community as well because when we are nurturing those closest to us and we are showing them uh, the ways to love we are educating them we are giving them wisdom they are going out into our communities and relaying that information living out these manifestations that you have put there and so it's a beautiful thing you goddess you are a valuable asset not only to yourself but to your family and your community because as I've always said any woman that does any kind of work or anything like that uh, before we want to reach all of these people in other places, we should make sure that within our communities, within our own families, we have done work uh, to let ourselves be known there and to just be, you know, a positive influence in the community that we live in, okay? Uh, the uh, next goddess affirmation, I have the mental and spiritual ability to overcome any obstacles on my path. So as you're being this, badass goddess and you are manifesting and you are making changes in your life obstacles will come there is this myth that when you manifest this life that you've been asking for that it will be free of obstacles adversity will always be present and obstacles will always occur and it's natural because anytime you are trying to level up Anytime you are making a change, the universe is going to always test you by creating an obstacle to see how bad do you want it. Now, are you going to fold or are you going to alchemize? Are you going to say, you know what, this affirmation here, I have the mental and spiritual ability to move through this obstacle. I will find a way to get over this. I will find a way to still forge on my path regardless of these obstacles because they're going to come. And even once you get to that space you want to be at, to maintain that, you may have obstacles that come. I look at it as I, I use I use an empire as a synonym to look at, you, as you will, your life. And if you look at any powerful empire, they always had guards. It was heavily guarded. Even heaven is gated 
Why? Because everybody cannot get in. Why? Because discernment is needed. Why? Because what is there is sacred and needs to be protected. You, your fortress, your home, your family, who you are, the extension of you, goddess, all of that deserves the same energy. It needs to be preserved and protected because it is sacred. You are sacred. Therefore, where you live is sacred. Therefore, where you are is sacred. Therefore, those around you and you choose to make a part of you are sacred. So, let it be treated like an empire. Let it be treated as the sacred beauty that it is. Because you are a gift, all right? Let's, another affirmation. I am in constant contact and motion with my ancestors, spirit guides, and the most high. I want to say that again. I am in constant contact and motion with my ancestors, spirit guides, and the most high. So to have contact is one thing. Contact. We're praying. We're lighting our candles. We're picking up on the signs in our intuition and things that are happening, right? That's happening. But then to be in motion with your ancestors and your spirit guides and the most high means to move the way that you are directed to move regardless of the way that it may look to the outside world and that's a very important piece of it is that when you are called to be a spiritual worker when you are i mean really called and you know that this is what's in your blood and this is what you're supposed to be doing no longer is it about appeasing the opinions or the images that other people have about you that does not matter you know what you're on the path to do and if you've really made that contact and you are in motion with your guides and the most high that is that affirmation stay in motion with them because your blessing is coming and what you've been given direction to do may look different to other people or they may not understand it but it's not for them and they didn't get that they don't have that connection and they didn't get the same message that you got so constant contact and motion with your ancestors spirit guides and the most high mm -hmm. <laughs> brush your shoulders off right quick <laughs> you do the same um i am loved healed and supported by the universe that's one of my favorite affirmations i can honestly say that i am loved healed and supported by the universe that is one of my go-to affirmations when i'm feeling overwhelmed when i feel some of my anxiety coming when i feel like wow it's several messages coming to me at once um from different things oh i got a message from um an unsatisfied customer oh i also got a message from the school saying my son did something that I'm not happy with oh uh, someone else in my family needs something from me oh I'm actually in the middle of something in the midst of all of this and so in those moments that's just an example in those moments when I feel myself going up here I will say I am healed I am loved I am supported by the universe I am healed I am loved I'm supported by the universe I said that about six or seven times seven is that magic number and like instantly my mind shifts and the energy shifts it's no longer overwhelmed it's like okay I can compartmentalize what I have to do what is the priority okay I'll deal with that when I deal with that I'll deal with that and it's all gonna be okay because I am healed I am loved and supported by the universe so that's one of my favorite affirmations to go to Hmm. This is another favorite. I honor and cultivate my creative and sexual energies. Sexual energy is creative energy. You are literally creating. This is why babies come from sex. We are creators. We have that power. And so when you honor and cultivate your sexual energy and your creative energy, you also see that as sacred. Now, I am not here to judge anyone or tell them the ways to express themselves sexually or to say anything about who you choose to express your sexuality with. 
All I will say is that as a goddess, as a high frequency being, as someone who understands and knows and feels and sees, you know that your sexual energy is very sacred. And as we know, uh, the last video was about divine feminine healing. We talked a lot about the womb. Especially when we're dealing with the act of sex, here in the womb, the sacred space, the sacred seat of womanhood, of goddesshood, this is and does have to be treated very, very, very sacredly. And there is a great level of discernment that has to go into whom we allow to experience our sexual expression. And that is what I'll say about that. But a great affirmation is I honor and cultivate my creative and sexual energies. And that also gives you an opportunity to explore your creativity in other ways. Uh, maybe passions and interests that you have that um, you may want to explore more. By honoring those, you can also cultivate them. Okay? Um, this one here is a great one. I constantly work to improve myself and my connection with nature and Mother Earth. Yes. And speaking of connection with nature and Mother Earth, the Jambalaya Moon uses nature, Mother Earth to heal. And as I told you, I was going to have that code for you. So all month long, you can use the code Black Magic at checkout to receive 25% off all your orders okay the code is black magic now to get access to the jambalaya moon those of you that don't know you will need a password and that requires you to sign up for free to sign up on the moon tribe mailing list and that is the link that is there in the description it says join the moon tribe all right that's the code again i constantly work to improve myself and my connection with nature and mother earth Yes, we who bleed every 28 days, 28 to 35 days, are connected to the moon. Our menstrual cycle mimics the moon cycle, okay? And when we have imbalances, hormonal imbalances, this is what creates um, the fluctuation of our periods. And certain things can throw our periods off. Stress can, uh, losing weight, gaining weight, certain dietary restrictions, a certain diets, that can all lead to mother flow and, and how she did, or aunt flow, I call her mother flow, <laughs> um, mother flow and, and how she comes and goes. Um, but during that time, as I've talked about, um, we go through seasons as women. During that time when we are menstruating, that is the winter season for us. So we do need to be in isolation. I really, really advocate for women who work 40 hours a week to have at least one to three days off during that cycle time every month. And it's, and it's really because a woman needs that time. A woman needs that time to deal with the changes that her body is going through because having a menstrual cycle, a lot of the symptoms are like going through a pregnancy. You know, some women get nauseous. Uh, some women deal with very heavy cramps. Some women deal with very heavy bleeding. Some women just deal with general discomfort during that time. It's really a time you want to have your feet up. You want to have something warm and you want to be comforted. And this is something that women need. Like, I, I would push for it to be a law, to be in the book, to allow women that time. We really need that um, during that time. And that is the because that's the winter for us. Now, when we come out of our cycle, we're in the spring. Oh, it's beautiful. Are we ready? <laughs> you know, we have all of this vibrant energy here, you know. We've, de we, we've flowed out, we've detoxed and all of that. So we have all this vibrant energy here. And the hormones are still popping. It's like the springtime. Very good time for continuing to cultivate those ideas that came while you were menstruating. Because I'm going to go back into that winter cycle and tell you why it's so important. But spring is a great time to continue to cultivate that. That first week coming out of the cycle, the second week coming out of the cycle, you are in your summer cycle. You are in your summertime, and your summertime is like the summer season. It's vibrant. It's bright. Even more sexual energy. You're feeling hot, and this is also the time. That second week, you know, 
this is the time when the ovulation is starting so this is this is when we're getting into we're starting to feel the ovulation so your hormones are moving in a different way you want it more you know you may want it more and you, you feel more open and you also feel your creativity you also feel connected more connected to your family and all that then we go into fall and the fall season is that that second to third week going into that third week of that cycle and this is uh, straight up the ovulation forecast this is the time where you are ovulating this is the time where implantation uh, and, and conception can happen this is the fall the fall is so you know it's, it's getting more cozy you're starting to slow down a bit you may feel your body starting to go through the change you may start experiencing some symptoms when that cycle is going to come in that fourth week and so as the body begins to slow down and gets ready uh, to shed that egg that has not been implanted, uh, that egg that is, is not an embryo, did not become one, as we get ready to shed, that is when we have a burst of intuition. We also have a burst of hormones. Right before the cycle comes, you will feel yourself uh, very hot sexually and the, that's just the hormonal energy that definitely it definitely supports the notion that this is the conception time ovulation time and so that's natural and so you're going to have those into intuitive nudges um, this is a great time to journal this is a great time to do dream work and then you're going to go into your cycle and during the cycle um, you're going to be resting more you're going to be prompted to rest more you'll feel like resting more and you're naturally going to have more dreams you're naturally going to be more in tune with your goddess energy and that is when you're going to have that high intuition and um, at that time is why I really advocate for women to be have some isolation time at least one to three days you know where a woman is just like away from her responsibilities away from her duties and I know that in this modern world um, that's just not doable for some women but if it was if we were allowed even just a day off like that first day of the cycle or not even the first day but that second day <laughs> After you might, because you might start in the middle of the day, but that second day going in is when you really need that extra support from yourself and, you know, your goddess energy around you. All right. So that's improving your connection with nature and Mother Earth and understanding how you are connected to Mother Earth through the seasons, through the moon cycles, through it being Mother, Mother Nature, Mother Earth, all of these feminine aspects that have been given to nature because we are so connected. Ashe. All right. And last but certainly not least, I have another goddess affirmation um, that I'm going to um, kind of end this with and it is I am not in any competition with any other goddesses all right I love that I am not in any competition with any other goddesses that's a great affirmation to say especially if you find yourself goddess still comparing yourself to other women still comparing yourself to what this woman has going on with her business what this woman has going on in her relationship whether or not this woman has children she has she's had two children in the last two years and maybe you want children or maybe vice versa whatever it is keep yourself out of competition with other women because we all are going through what we are going through and many of us especially indigenous women we are fighting some of the same battles and so we don't need to be in competition with each other let's focus on our singularities let's focus on how we can connect and come together all of us have something valuable to add to the conversation all of us have something valuable to add to the collective and so don't put yourself in competition and you know it takes a lot of stress off of you and even if you see or if you feel like other women are trying to put themselves in competition with you don't even latch on to that energy because you should be so light and floating that that shit doesn't even matter like you know what okay i see you guess what sis you shining and i'm shining too but your shine doesn't affect mine and mine doesn't affect yours in any way unless we bring it together and shine brighter together other than that you can't dim my light and i ain't going to try to dim yours I am not in any competition with any other goddesses. That's an affirmation. That's also something that I say and something that I'm saying. And let the record show 
La Madame Selena is not in any competition with any other goddesses, queens, or women in between. All right, Moon Tribe, I love you. Make sure to leave comments. Let me know how you feel about these goddess affirmations. You know, please feel free to use these affirmations to keep yourself elevated, to maintain your ascension. Because, baby, it's going to be things that happen that are going to test us over and over and over every day. Like I said, adversity and obstacles don't stop. Hopefully these affirmations can help you and you can find your one go-to affirmation and in those times of, di of duress, in those times of stress, you can say, I am healed, loved, and supported by the universe. Or I am in constant contact and motion with my ancestors, spirit guides, and the most high. Or I honor myself by putting my needs, desires, and wants first. It works. And you are affirming it into your subconscious. You say these affirmations every day in the morning to program your subconscious to be on a high frequency that totally lets go of that victim mentality, that totally lets go, lets go of that I have to take what is given to me. No, you can totally boss up, totally boss up with affirmations and feel free to add your own affirmations to that okay use code black magic for 25 percent off make sure you sign up to be part of the moon tribe like this video subscribe to the channel leave me comments show love spread love be love affirm you are a goddess i appreciate you and i will see you soon at the jambalaya moon until next time moon tribe Mwah.